I'm back. <laughs> what a putz. Okay, I have some things that came in the mail. Some other things that came in the mail. Some stuff to talk about. I'm going to rifle through a lot of this because most of you, quite frankly, are just going to be really bored and not give a damn about these cards. But more of the Andre Ryzen cards. This is Fleer Metal. Metal Universe. Horrible glare. Nice foil card. Beautiful card. Here's a current one from 2011 Exquisite. It's a super thick card. Numbered to 75. It's 2011. It's an Andre Ryzen in his Michigan State Uni. Pretty happy to find that. Really pretty prism. Andre Ryzen, that's a prism 1999 card. They just don't make cards like that anymore. I think that's an absolutely stellar looking card. The video just doesn't do it any justice. Uh, that one's not numbered. There is a numbered version and a mini. Here's a felt pennant. Die cut. Again, where are cards like that? This is just a base card out of 56 of 100. That's how they used to do numbering on these things. That's out of 94 Collector's Edge. A checklist that just so happens to have Andre Ryzen in the checklist. Uh, sorry, that's not Ryzen, Desmond Howard. He's up here with the Browns. By the way, five of these cards came in PWEs today, which I guess you buy an insert on eBay, you don't pay more than a dollar for shipping, you're going to get a PWE. But this thing is something that really fries my ass. Now you guys tell me if this bothers you or if I'm just being picky. This is a Select Certified Mirror Gold, which is one of the harder ones to get out of Select. But I hate it when somebody from eBay sends, we've gone through this before, sends a card with a huge chunk of tape that you're not going to be able to get off here. It's going to peel in 50 different pieces, and it's going to be all sticky on here, and then a perfectly good top loader is ruined. And you get, all you can end up doing is just slicing the top, and this one has a sticker on it, so I'm not even going to be able to do that. There we go. And then pull the card out. Now I've got to put it in my own top loader. Put a flap on the top there and make it easy to save the tape. That really pisses me off. And then lastly, this was from 1989. This was one of those quads. Troy Aikman, Barry Sanders, and by the way, this is out of playoff. And then on the back is Deion Sanders, Andre Ryzen. So that's a pretty nice card right there. So I'm happy about those additions. Moving on now to a package that I received from this film, Not Yet Rated. If you notice the beginning of the video. And what I dig about this is he lives in Knob Noster. Missouri. Knob Noster. That is awesome. Knob Noster. I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to have somebody give me a Knob Noster. God, that would feel good. Yeah, I can open things. What does that say on there? Wonder Boy? Must be a recycled. Michael, this was to be my attempt at repaying you for awesome Packers cards you sent my way. Here's hoping this is an upgrade. If not, you can do with it as you please. Enjoy, my friend. Michael Phillips. This film not yet rated. And Wonderboy83. Oh, that's his blog TV name. So, let's see what this is. Oh, he told me about this card. That's a beautiful card, number to 28. It's the Delman Young, Ricky Weeks. I do have a three color, three color. Uh, actually, it's a three color, two color, but on Ricky Weeks, it's part of some kind of a logo. So I'd be just as happy to keep both of them. When I get really sick dual patches in this set, I keep them both. So thank you very much for that, Michael. I appreciate it. That's a beautiful looking card. And it's my favorite set of all time, so how can I go wrong? Oh, and then he writes on the back, fail! No, not a fail. Just the fact that you thought of me is awesome. I appreciate it. Sexiest beard on YouTube. Sorry, Denny. His is a little fuller than yours. You're neck and neck, really. I mean, literally. 
as beards go, you're neck and neck. I think you guys should have a beard off and determine whose is the best. Or vote below. If you think Denny's beard is sexier or James Fight on 5-2's beard is sexier, I want to know. Let's get a tally going on this. Who has the sexiest beard in the YouTube sports card community? He hath, he hath sent me some Andre Ryzen cards. Uh, don't have it. In fact, I know I don't have these because I looked at the video he made. Here's a nice die cut. DC Rewind, and that's out of Proline. That one I don't have. And this one I have, but it has, this is a very condition sensitive card, as you can see around the edges. Now, that's way better than the one I have, because the one I have is beating all the piss. It's just horrible. So thanks for sending those to me, James. I appreciate it. James is a huge, huge Bo Jackson collector. He, collector, collector. He's got Bojo galore. So if you have anything that's Bo Jackson that might be rare, hit him up and let him know. And finally, a box from TCMY, or TCM64, the Cardman64, and it says, that's crazy, part one. Is part one actually in the envelope here? I think he just used that for part one. I, I had to beat the hell out of this box to get into it. You had it so well taped, Joe. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be more of the Andre Ryzen stuff, because he mentioned he had it. Michael, here are some cards to add to your Ryzen PC. Hopefully you don't have some of them. Still going through boxes and boxes to find more insert types. Hope all is well. Joe. Joe's a fantastic guy. I met him two years ago with Baltimore at the Nationals. Enjoyed spending time with him. And again, you guys sending me this stuff. It's really thoughtful of you and I appreciate it a lot. Let's see where I'm at here. Seven minutes. I'll try and rifle through these so I don't bore everybody to tears. But... Um, I'm going to do when I was a kid. Got him, got him, got him, need him, need him, need him, need him. So I'll stop when I see one that I don't have. Don't have that one. Is that a stripe version? The wild card have stripe versions with scores and stuff on them. That one I don't think I have. Proline. Starquest Blue I don't have. I've got the green, I think. Don't have that one. Tops Ryzen. Definitely don't have that one. Really nice looking card. Foil all over. That's a score hot. Hot score, whatever. Uh, don't think I have that one first quarter. I might have second quarter. Don't think I have the skybox. So uh, you got quite a few in here. Don't have that one. That's a Fleer Ultra. Not sure about that one, but don't think I have it. Doing his little dance. Making a little love. Get down tonight. Not sure on that one. So this is going to be fun for me to look through these. Browns, anything that's post-95, pretty sure I don't. That one I think I do, but I'm going to double check. Double check on that one. I think you hit uh, you hit a few here. I definitely don't have that one. President's Reserve, that's not numbered, but that's a die, uh, uh, die cut. That's a uh, acetate. And that one I think I have. But there's quite a few there, Joe. So thank you very much for sending those. And wait, there's more. Just when you think you're done, there's more. <laughs> I can see what's coming up. That's funny. I had this card at one point, but because I'm so damn anal retentive, I got rid of it. So we got a, a temporary tattoo. Very cool. I have real tattoos. We've got a Falcons Chris Miller phone card. That's awesome. Uh, a Ken Oxendine, a serial numbered 66 of 75. That's really bizarre. I do not have that. And a, uh, a see-through acetate, also raised surface. Jamal Anderson EX2000. I don't have that. That is a phenomenal looking card. If you could see it in person, it's really cool. And there's like holographic on the... That's a nice card. And this is the one that I had before because it's a tall card. I don't know why they made them that way, but game day had these long cards. I'll find a place to put it in my box because I don't have it anymore. So that's a, that's a good find. And then this says, one card inside. As I'm pushing 10 minutes. Hope you're not bored by now. If you are, I'm sorry. Let's see what we got down here. 
Oh, this is going to be a jumbo. How about that? Andre Risen Pacific Collection Jumbo. That's really cool. I never even saw that card before. Pacific Gridiron. I think I remember the folders these things came in. They were out, let me see here, about the time, yeah, about the time the, the triple folder Pacifics were out, which were extremely pack searchable. So that's a nice collection of things, Joe and Michael and James. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And keep your eyes peeled for a for trade video coming from Mini Boog either tomorrow or the next day. We went to the local CSM. He's got a bunch of stuff here and some other stuff in his box he's going to show, but bought a few packs of the 2012 SPX and scored this beautiful card, which will be in the video. I just want to give you a teaser to end the video with here. This card is just sick. Number 10 of 10, he scored yesterday, or 4 of 10. Michael Floyd, and look at that three color, torn all the hell Notre Dame jumbo patch out of SPX. Just crazy, pulled right from the pack. If anyone's interested, you can either hit us up now or he'll be doing this video tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching as always. Okay? I love you.